I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the October 2020 U.S. exam calculator section. College Board describes fuel consumption for an airplane, five gallons per mile, and the plane starts at 60,000 gallons of fuel and flies 550 miles per hour. And they want the amount of fuel remaining after T hours. First of all, at T equals zero, since we start with 60,000, the correct formula should give you 60,000. 60,000 minus zero is 60,000. Same for B, same for D, but choice C, 60,000 minus zero is 60,000. Then we divide that by five to get only 12,000. So choice C is not the correct answer. Now the question is, how much fuel do we use per hour? We are traveling at 550 miles per hour. And per means divide by, so miles divided by hours for miles per hour. And then we multiply by five gallons per mile, because we use five gallons for each mile flown. The miles cancel, leaving us, if I check my calculator, with 550 times 5 is 2750 gallons per hour. If you multiply the number of gallons per hour by the number of hours, which is T, that's the total fuel used. So A of T, the amount of fuel remaining, is the amount you started with, minus fuel used per hour in gallons per hour times the number of hours, and gallons per hour times hours will give you gallons used. And this matches choice D. The key skills here are first of all reading the questions carefully, and second looking at units to go from miles per hour and gallons per mile to gallons per hour to make sure that you're doing the correct thing with the 550 and the 5. If you divided by 5 instead of multiplying, you would end up with choice A. And if you were just looking at the 550 and ignoring how much fuel per mile, you end up with choice B. College Board often asks this sort of question that combines conversion of units with understanding a word problem. So make sure that you get comfortable with these and get lots of practice with it. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.